Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our House of Quality or QFD template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. QFD gives managers a means to turn qualitative customer needs into quantitative metrics that businesses could use to implement product changes or strategies in order to have their products be more competitive in the market. This template does require a bit of a management background to understand, but at least for this template, it's all pretty plug and play. So follow along as I walk you guys through this template. In the quality function deployment sheet, we have the house of quality. It's called the house of quality because of its shape. On the top left, we have an area where you can input details like the project title, author, date, and notes. On the right, we have a legend to guide you on the different symbols that you will be using. With the template, just remember to input data only in the white cells. On the left-hand side, we have the different customer requirements. These are the things that customers would want out of the product that you're trying to analyze. In the customer importance column here, rate the importance of the customer requirement on the scale of 1 to 5. On the top portion, input your functional requirements or the characteristics that your product needs to have in order for the product to be what it is. In the middle area, assess the correlation of each customer requirement against the functional requirement. So, for example, check the customer requirement 1 against functional requirements 1, 2, 3, and so on. We use symbols to indicate their correlations. A dark circle is a strong correlation, a blank circle is moderate, and an inverse triangle is a weak correlation. In the roof portion, you assess the interaction of the different functional requirements to each other, using the diamonds and the pyramid. For example, in this diamond, we check the interaction of FR1 and FR2. Here, we check FR2 and FR3. And the one over here is the interaction between FRs 1, 2, and 3. We use positive, negative, and blank symbols to express their interaction. To the right, we have an area where you rate your product against your direct competitor's products on the scale of 1 to 5 per customer requirement. You have a small visual on the right so you can see your product's position in contrast to your competitor's. At the bottom, input the targets that you might want to achieve or improve on with the functional requirements. And at the bottom, it computes the weights of importance of each basing it off of the correlation and the customer importance rating. So you would know where to allocate the most resources to given the technical importance rating and the relative weight. Going back on top, you can label each functional requirements improvement direction to maximize, on target, or minimize. This template is a great management tool made easy with simple sheets. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.